Hello, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the virtual CSP by Assertia. So a virtual CSP is just like the built-in CSP in your Windows device, except of course it's virtual, allowing us to access externally stored certificates rather than just those local ones on our machines. That means we can start using virtual certificates or external certificates to sign documents just like we would as if we were signing them locally on our device. In order to access this, you would need an Assertia signing up an account and the virtual CSP tool. This can be downloaded quickly and easily from the Assertia website. Once you've downloaded the tool, you log in with the account that you've registered with and be provided with an external certified certificate. And it's as simple as that. If we open up the signing hub or the VS, uh, virtual CSP application, you'll now see the certificate that's been published and provided to me, for, signed by the external Assertia CA. And we can drill into that and see all of the details of the certificate chain as well. That's as simple as it gets and complicated as it gets from a configuration perspective. In terms of using it, you open up your document you'd like to sign, click on insert, insert a signature line, put in the details of the signer. So we've got some information about me. And click OK. That creates our signature field. Once we need to have that created, we click on Sign. You can either draw in a signature or select an image. In this case, I'm going to select an image of a signature that I've created previously. Once we've done that, we select the certificate. As you can see here, it's actually already selected, but you can change that if you have multiple certificates. To the one that you desire, click OK and click Sign. At this point, my virtual CSP is sending the request to the Signing Hub server, which is going to send that onto the GoSign mobile app, which I've downloaded on my mobile device. I've logged into that GoSign mobile application using the same credentials that I logged in to the virtual CSP with. And on my mobile device, I'll be prompted for a remote authorization request. On my device, I'll be able to match the request ID to the request ID in the document and select authorize. It's going to ask me for PIN or fingerprint authentication to do that. Once I do that, it's going to send a message back to my device, which is going to tell me that my signature has been successfully created and saved within the document. If the document is changed, that signature will become invalid. If I click on OK to that, you can then see that the signature that I provided is now in place. And if I right click on that and choose signature details, I'll be able to see the fact that that has been signed by my externally certified certificate. And again, that full certification path is there. The same tools and availabilities is, is provided within Microsoft Outlook. Again, it's leveraging the internal Microsoft technology, so it works with all of the Microsoft tools. Thank you for listening.